This guy was a pastor. And believe it or not, a lot of people took him seriously and followed him in the 1950s. Now, I know that you're thinking that he looks more like a pimp from a black exploitation film than a pastor. Or maybe those are just my thoughts. But his flock thought that he was an amazing preacher and healer. And when these two sisters thought that this guy, Prophet Jones, gave them a word from God to heal their mother in 1953, they, on their teacher's salaries, bought him a $12,900 mink coat. To put it into perspective, that $12,900 in 1953 had the same buying power as $144,000 today in 2023. Let's get into it. But first, if you like these videos about the most scandalous people from yesteryear who make Ty's Hot Mess History a time capsule for the culture, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know every time that I upload one of these videos or every time that I live stream and comment I subscribed in the comment section so that I can say hello to you. Now, on to why you are here. Check out this story from the March 5th, 1953 issue of Jet Magazine. It's called, Two Teachers Give $12,900 Mink Coat to Prophet Jones. I'll be peppering in my commentary, but it reads, Two Chicago grade school teachers presented a $12,900 white mink coat to Prophet James F. Jones, Dominion ruler of the Church of the Universal Triumph in Detroit. The teachers, sisters Evelyn and Esther Jackson, said they gave the coat to Prophet Jones because he restored the health of their mother, Mrs. Esther Jackson, 70. She was cured by following the Prophet's instructions to drink water four times at the Gary, Indiana bus station. She did as the Prophet bid, Esther Jackson said. She's very intelligent and scientific. Mm, I'm sure that she is. Known in the Prophet's Church as Princess Brantella and Princess Essentina, they explained the choice of the coat for the gift. We decided on the coat, Evelyn Jackson said, because we'd often see the Prophet leave his services in a little overcoat over his gorgeous robes. He looked so cold. We selected white because he is like the lamb of the world and so pure. They revealed that their brother, Sterling, bought a $3,900 Lincoln for the Prophet shortly after their mother's recovery. On another occasion, they reportedly gifted the Prophet with a huge several thousand dollar diamond ring. I wonder if they thought that the Prophet couldn't afford a coat, because it doesn't sound like his robes were inexpensive. If he felt cold, I wonder why God didn't tell him to buy a coat. And they've got a brother who's just as goofy as they are, buying the Prophet a $3,900 Lincoln? That's $43,000 in our 2023 money. Well, their brother may have been goofy, but at least he wasn't stupid enough to have his picture taken for a national publication. The first coat of its kind ever made for a man. The mink had a scarlet silk lining. The deep flap pockets are lined with scarlet velvet. Made from 75 skins, it has a raglan flare bag with raglan sleeves a shawl collar, and wide turn-back cuffs. It was designed and made to order in New York for a Detroit women's store. The operator washed his hands every half hour to prevent soiling the skins, a store representative said. After Prophet received the coat, it was given a light once-over with a vacuum cleaner. Now, I know that you may be wondering, how did two teachers pay for such a luxurious gift? Well, in installments, of course. Because these bras weren't just goofy, they were broke too. The sisters, who said Prophet Jones cured their mother of a goiter ailment in 1947 after seven doctors had failed, paid $2,000 down and will pay monthly installments of $375 for the coat. Prophet Jones donned his coat in his 54-room French castle and said, God's will is done. Mm. I bet it is, Prophet. I bet it is. Now, Prophet Jones was sometimes referred to as the Messiah in Mink, and that could very well have been because of this coat. I know that at his funeral in 1971, 
there was a white mink coat draped over his casket. It is likely the one purchased by these sisters. That might have been the only mink he owned. The good news is that if the sisters kept up their payments on his coat, it was paid off before he died. Prophet Jones isn't the only pastor I've covered who, right along with his congregation, was nutty as a fruitcake. There was also Sweet Daddy Grace, who coincidentally bought the mansion and church building that once belonged to Prophet Jones. Prophet Jones had to sell the real estate because he was going broke. Sweet Daddy Grace helped by buying the property, but still threw some sanctified shade at Prophet Grace, saying, quote, Somebody around here making God look bad. Mm, end quote. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. Mm, but don't call him black because he said that he was white. You can click here at the top right corner to see that video. I will also leave a link to it in the description box. And as I slowly zoom into the thumbnail for it, maybe another video will capture your interest. Maybe you'll want to learn about the Octoroon Whorehouse. I don't know. They're all great. My sources for this video are Our Detroit Archives and Jed Magazine Archives in 1953. Are you a content creator, influencer, or blogger who feels like your platform could use an extra boost? Are you thinking about becoming a content creator but you don't know where to start and you want to be sure that you dot all of your I's and cross all of your T's? If so, Layla Lynn can likely show you exactly what you need to get on your way. Her fun new class is called The Business of Blogging with Layla Lynn and in it she is sharing the fundamental principles of blogging in 2022 because let's face it, Social media is a moving target, and what worked well five years ago is likely not what works well today. And with Layla Lynn, you're getting the information from someone who is successful at putting the principles to practice on her own social media platforms, and she literally has the credentials to back it all up, as she holds degrees in social media marketing. Layla Lynn is a multiple six-figure earner whose first social media marketing course helped this channel go from earning $30 a month to earning five figures a month. I'm ready to dig in my heels and learn even more so that I can earn even more. Are you with me? If so, hit my link at the top of the description box and join her class to access this amazing, affordable advice from a woman who knows her business, the business of blogging. If you have a business, product, service, YouTube channel or social media account that you would like to promote on my channel, email me at taiwan at taisaidwhattaisaid.com to get rates for advertising on my community tab, my live streams, and or my edited videos, just like this one. 